While there wasn't as much drama as the 2002 national title game, the result was the same. A W for OHIO over the U. In Columbus, James Ryder, your News Now Sports. It was an overcast day for Ohio State's annual spring game, and with the clouds that currently hang over the program, the big question is, who will be the Buckeyes quarterback for the first five games of the fall? For Ohio State, yesterday's victory over Michigan was all about streaks. Seven consecutive wins against the Wolverines and six straight Big Ten championships. For the seniors, it ended their streak. It was their last game in the horseshoe. This season, Perry High School is looking to break through and do something that the school has never accomplished. With all the returning starters up front, Bluffton's going to try to use that experience to drive them to more wins. This season, no National League team scored more runs than the Cincinnati Reds, who are playing in the postseason for the first time since 1995. That year, the Red Legs were swept by the Braves on the strength of a few great pitchers. Tonight, they faced another who may be bound for Cooperstown. The Indians opened the season winning 19 of their first 23 home games. Since then, the Tribe have dropped five straight at Progressive Field, including the first three of a four-game series against the Texas Rangers. Shafir kicks it to the near side for Mays. Mays, three ball goes! Tanika Mays dialing up from long distance. She's 37% on the season from beyond the arc. And that is her 13th made three-pointer. So that'll give the Rockets a one-point advantage with 11 minutes to go in the game. King to Maggart. Maggart, long two, step out. No, it's short, rebounded by Mays. Mays thought about pushing the tempo, pulled it back. Now she'll go, three on three. Find Shafir, open three, splash! And that'll be a four-point lead for the Rockets. Ball State gonna have to have some kind of answer here. McDonald, Benning, Crago, Maggart, and King are on the floor. Benning drives to lane, kick out King, open look at a three, the answer, Patrice King right back at you. Ethan Feaster gonna be serving for the Cardinals with a two point lead. Gets it in, tough serve to pass. Kehoe for Heine, and Heine's able to stop the bleeding going right down the middle on the quick set and it'll be a chance for the Buckeyes to tie things up here in game two. And it'll be the junior setter and first team all-conference Steven Kehoe to serve. Received by Ebel. Feaster for rather, oh, but he got blocked that time by Topkin. And that is a huge motivator for the Buckeyes. You could tell by their reaction how good Larry Rather had been. Venata at midfield. Through ball here for Missy Gordon. Gordon running on. She's on the near side. She's 20 yards out. Gets a touch on it with her left foot. Dribbling in towards the goal. Cuts it back to the top of the 18. Rips a shot. It goes over the goalie and in. How about that over the head of Vicky Travin. And Missy Gordon finally gets a goal. Missy Gordon, welcome to Ball State Soccer. Hello and welcome to Worth Arena, where tonight the Ball State Cardinals will play host to the number three ranked team in the country. It's the Cal State Northridge Matadors. I'm James Ryder. Joining me for tonight's broadcast, Greg Levy. Greg, this is the rematch from last night. These two teams met up, and it was the Matadors coming away with a 3-0 sweep, courtesy of the very athletic 6-7 middle attacker, Kevin McNiff. Billy Ebel getting subbed out, focusing on more of the offensive side of things, not too worried about passing, trying to get this point. Baker on the right side gets blocked by Nelson, and rather... And Larry Rather, you can see he is pumped up, like we talked about, an absolute energy guy. He might only be 5'11", but he is certainly a spark plug. For Ferruto, it's still kind of tough because sometimes he wants to pick up a bat, step out of the coaching box, and into the batter's box. This week, the Ohio State Buckeyes welcome the Miami Hurricanes to the horseshoe. It's the first meeting between the two schools since they met for the 2002 National Championship. The senior class leaves Ohio State with a perfect record against Michigan and a Big Ten championship in every season. In Columbus, James Ryder, your News Now Sports.